What's up everybody? Welcome back or to the channel. So today we're gonna to be going over a few updates on my Dyna Y Glide build. Now for some of you that have seen a lot of my videos, I did do a lot of modifications to this Dyna Y Glide build over here. I have since then taken a few of those modifications off, trying things out, switching things up a little bit. Um, I've always been a big fan of the Dyna Y Glide because I'm a tall guy. I'm 6'3", 270 pounds. I love the raked out front end, the forward controls. I like the chopper style feel and look of the Y Glide build. And this is actually my second Dyna that I've owned because I actually owned another one previous to this one, which I'll put the picture up here above. Now, it's been great. I love this bike. It's been great. But as I'm sure most of you know, earlier this year, I ended up picking up a good deal on a used Corvette C6. So I found myself through the spring and summer driving the Corvette a lot more than the Dyna. But that's given because it was something new and exciting and fun to drive. I just found myself gravitating more to the Corvette. And I will say this, the Dyna has been great when I go for little trips by myself or drive it to work and back and so forth. I really love this bike. But when I take my wife out for trips on the Dyna, it just wasn't a great trip just because we'd have to stop every half an hour or so just to stand up, stretch our legs and get some feeling back in our butts. But overall, we had fun on it. It just wasn't the best fit for my wife and I when we go for long trips. Now that the kids are getting a little bit older and my schedule's freeing up a little bit more at work, I have a little bit more time on my hands. I wanna start spending a little bit more time with my wife and going on more little road trips. And this bike just wasn't really cutting it anymore. So it's been a really hard decision. And I gotta say, I'm still very torn, but I think it's time to probably let it go soon. But I will say this, I love this bike. In my heart, I don't really wanna get rid of it because any of my vehicles that I get and modify and do a lot of work and put a lot of hard effort into making it look the way I want it to look, I end up developing a deeper relationship with that vehicle and I just don't wanna get rid of it. But I do think it's time that I probably say goodbye to the Dyna and move on to the next chapter. But before we continue, let me just show you quickly a closer look at this bike. Now this bike here, this is a 2010 Dyna Wide Glide. I have done a lot of modifications to it. It does have the Vance and Hines pipes. It does have the Vance and Hines intake. It does have LED lights. I did have a different seat for this, but I did take it off and sold that already. I did put a black headlight on. I did have the all black Memphis shades fairing on the front, which is a quick release. So you could take it on and off very easy with quick release tabs. I am selling the fairing and I am selling the seat. I already have people lined up to buy them. So if I do sell this bike, I'm gonna be selling it as it sits right now with the previous seat on it without the fairing, but I am keeping the black headlight on there because it works really well when you do add fairing to this bike. I do have a gas tank lift kit, so it raises the gas tank up two inches. I did replace all of the pegs. I did replace all of the hand grips. I did replace all of the levers. So I've done a lot of just nice mods to this bike, making it look good. It did have the original red flames on the tank. I did have that tank sent out and had it all completely repainted gloss black to match the rest of the bike. So it really just gives you a really cool chopper look. Again, I really like this bike. I really, really do. If I do end up selling it, I'm really going to miss it. But whoever does buy this bike, they're going to end up with an awesome bike that's ready to hit the street and cruise and get a lot of looks. So the question remains, am I getting out of motorcycles and just sticking to my truck and the Corvette or what am I doing? So the answer to that question is not quite that simple. Actually, it is simple. I'm not getting out of motorcycles. I'm a truck guy and a motorcycle guy at heart. I'm not getting rid of motorcycles. In fact, I might actually even consider getting rid of the Corvette because the Corvette's taken me away from what I love to do, which is ride motorcycles. So I actually might be getting rid of the Corvette instead, but I am still thinking of getting rid of the Dyna and there's really only one main reason why. And that reason is because we got a new bike for the channel. Let's take a close look at it. Are you ready? Are you ready? So there we go. That right there, ladies and gentlemen, is the new bike build that I'll be working on through the winter so that I am ready to hit the road next year. So what we have here is a 2016 Harley-Davidson Street Glide Special. 
so just a little quick story. I have been thinking about upgrading to a touring bike for a long time. I just wasn't sure I was ready to give up the Dyna style bike, but I did ultimately decide it was time. So I started doing a lot of research online, looking at different bikes, going out and seeing a couple in person, trying to work some deals with people, just things weren't really working out. And eventually after about two months of searching, I narrowed it down to about three bikes. The first bike that I really liked was a 2017 Street Glide, but I believe that might've been the first year for the 107 Milwaukee 8. It was a 2017 Street Glide, very low miles. The guy sent me a video of the startup. He was an older gentleman and it just didn't sound good. Something sounded off, it sounded wrong. So what I did was I sent that video to my cousin who builds motorcycles for a living. He also said, it doesn't sound good, it doesn't sound right. He recommended that I pass on that bike. So I did. Then I was working on another deal with another guy on a 2016 Street Glide, all gloss black. It was a standard, low miles. The guy just really didn't wanna work with me on price. He was pretty much stuck where it was, which was like a little over full retail price on that which happens to be what most bikes are going for these days. So I ultimately decided, okay, let's try to move forward with that. But it was just difficult. He didn't want to negotiate. His communication wasn't that great. He didn't really want to fill out the bill of sale form that my particular credit union wanted filled out. He wanted to fill out his own. So nothing major, just difficult. And ultimately I did look at this bike previously, but it was listed for again, above retail. And I did reach out to the guy originally and said, hey, are you willing to negotiate? He said, not really at this time. It just you know, wasn't a good time for that. And I said, okay, I respect that. And I moved on. So right before I was ready to pull the trigger on the Black Street Glide, I just didn't get a good feeling about it, right? But then that same night, the guy that, the seller of this bike got back to me and said, hey, I'm willing to negotiate how about I come down to this price? And I said, well, you know what? I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. But it's the same price as the other bike I was looking at. And the other bike's a little bit closer to me. And I just probably am just going to move forward with that other bike. He said, okay, how about this? My bike, this one right here, is a Street Glide Special, which means it has more features. And I'll come in $1,000 less than what that guy's selling you his bike. No brainer there. I said, well, okay, okay, let's do it. I wasn't really originally looking for this color of a bike. I always tend to gravitate towards blacked out bikes, but I did a little bit more research on this color and it's a very unique color, but I ultimately ended up liking it more and more the more I looked into it. This is actually, I believe called a charcoal denim, which I believe is a limited color only on the Street Glide specials but it's more of a matte finish and like a charcoal gray, but it looks really cool. So we did a little bit of talking back and forth, sent a bunch of emails and text messages back and forth. You know, he sent me the startup video, sounded phenomenal, did a walk around video, looked phenomenal. I said, you know what, let's do it. It, it looks like a great deal to me. Put it together, bing, bang, boom, went up, picked it up today. I just brought it back about an hour ago. So there it is. This right here is the new build. So I probably will still be getting rid of the Dyna, but this is the new build that I will be working on this winter. So there are a lot of upgrades I'll probably be doing to this bike. So let's just take a quick walk around. So obviously this thing is in mint condition. Okay. It does have a little nick here, which I believe that's just probably some boot marks, which I believe I could probably get those buffed out a little bit because that's very common when you throw your leg over for your boot to kind of nick that. But overall, everything else is mint. Okay, I'll take you around the other side. There you go there. This is the V-Twin 103. Very, very good engine. I mean, this thing is so, look at this finish. It's like a really nice finish. It actually seems like it's going to be much easier to keep clean because... The gloss black, that thing gets smudged and dusty. And it, I mean, you have to keep wiping that thing down daily to make it look good. But this looks like it's going to be much easier to keep clean. And it looks awesome. So there you go there. I mean, this bike is a beast. 
So this bike here does obviously come with the saddlebags, which release them right here. I mean, look how nice that is. These are very nice, deep saddlebags, which is what I needed for going on trips with my wife because anytime we would go on a trip with that, there's just no storage. There is no storage for her purse, our phones. Even if we stop at some little store and buy some little gifts, we can't store them anywhere. Well, now we can. Big, giant saddlebags here. Come over here, I'll show you this one. I mean, these things are huge. Okay, very good saddlebags there. Now this one here, because it is a Street Glide Special, it has the larger infotainment system here, which has the navigation, the stereo, the speakers, all that kind of stuff. Because the standard Street Glide has that much smaller screen that still works for radio and Bluetooth and so forth. But this one's so much nicer, really big touch screen, which is awesome. Let's see if I can turn it on real quick in there and show you. There it goes, so it's just loading up right now. And this is full touch screen. So you obviously have your main buttons here on the side, you can switch it up a little bit. You can have navigation, you can do so much stuff with this and control them on the handlebars as well. So it's got a nice little windshield up front. It's got your wind guard here where you hit this little button. Let some air come from the front up for a better wind flow if you need a little bit of air to cool off. Again, side mirrors here. Everything's looking sharp. It's got the two up seat that the back is separate from the main seat, super comfortable. And again, it's got some really nice pipes on here. Okay, there they go right there. They sound amazing. I mean, this bike is so clean and sounds so good. Let me start it up for you real quick. That deep exhaust sound is amazing. It sounds so good. This bike is a beast. But overall, this bike is mint. And I took it for a drive already, and I'm already in love with it. Now, it did come with a couple things. He did give me the quick-release backrest that attaches to the back, which is awesome. That means I don't have to buy one now. He did give me a full-face helmet, which is awesome because I normally don't use these type of helmets. But I have been thinking about getting more into motorcycle blogging where I'm going to hook up a GoPro to a helmet like this. So he gave me one. So again, it's like basically new condition. I mean, this thing is awesome. And I got the trickle charger. I got some tools, um, little tire pressure gauge. So again, he gave me all of that with the bike at an awesome price. And I just couldn't pass on it. So I am really excited about this bike. I cannot wait to start doing some upgrades. I already have some ordered and, and they're coming in the mail. First couple things I'm probably going to do is I did order a floorboard to peg conversion kit so i will be swapping those floorboards out right there for pegs i am replacing the back pegs too i'm getting all that replaced mainly because i'm tall so when i sit on here the boards okay right where it puts my feet is just not the most comfortable position and doesn't give me a lot of flexibility of where i can put my feet so i know there's some other things i can do there but i'm trying the the conversion kit first and converting that to a peg and then I might actually even look into extended uh, shifters to get my shifter up here a little bit further. I did order a crash guard. So I got a black crash guard coming in the mail, which I'll be doing a video on very soon. The install with the highway pegs, I will be doing that. Uh, let's see what else. I probably will be getting rid of this big giant antenna and getting something a little bit more uh, custom looking and smaller. The main thing that I just cannot wait to do is get these bars replaced. I hate these little bars. They're just too small for me. I want to go a lot higher and probably even go higher than those. I think what I'm going to be doing is doing 16-inch ape hangers on this bike, all black. And that right there is going to put my arms right where I want them. Because this bike over here has 14-inch ape hangers on it. 
and they work great because I'm again, I'm tall, I got a long reach. I really like them, but I think on this particular bike, I'm gonna go 16s. So I will be ordering some new 16 inch ape hangers soon with the full wiring and cable extension kit. And we'll do a video on that at another day. But again, for now, I'm probably just going to be swapping up some of the easy things here. Like the, again, like the, like the floorboards, the pegs, the, uh, the crash guard. I will be getting new, uh, handles here. I will be getting new blacked out levers because I like the more of the black milled ones like I have over there. So I will, I will be doing a lot of stuff in this bike, probably even swapping out the seat for something different. So again, overall, this bike is awesome. I am so excited to have this bike and start a new motorcycle build because this is what I like to do. I love riding motorcycles and this was what I've been waiting to do for a long time was upgrade from the Dyna to a Touring and I honestly can't wait to start putting some modifications on this bike because I truly think that with the amount of chrome on here and the charcoal denim color, if I add some more black splashes to this bike and do a few more custom mods, this bike is going to look amazing and I can't wait to do it. So there you go guys, that right there is a brief introduction to the new motorcycle build that's coming to the channel. So if you're interested in motorcycles and you like to see different modifications and different upgrades, subscribe to the channel because that's what's coming with this bike. So that's it for today's video. Do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button and like this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I possibly can. And do me a favor, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. It helps me out and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And when you hit that notification bell, you'll be notified every time I drop a new video. I do have a very busy schedule with work and family, but I do try to put out at least one video a week and I'm always doing something different. So if you like a variety of different content, whether it be trucks, cars, motorcycles, custom house repairs, whatever the case may be, definitely subscribe to the channel because there's going to be something for you. So that's it. I just want to say thank you to each and every one of you. I truly appreciate you all. Thank you for all of the support. And as always, see you in the next video.